Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Rangarao Karanam. Before we get our hands dirty and start with implementing our first SOAP service, we would try and understand the differences between REST and SOAP. Actually, as we discussed earlier, there is not an apple to apple comparison because SOAP is a format of a XML, whereas REST is actually an architectural style. Let's talk about the data exchange format. In SOAP, the data exchange format is always XML, that too, specifically the SOAP XML with SOAP envelope, header, and body. Both your request and response should adhere to the SOAP structure. In REST, there is no strict data exchange format. You can exchange a XML, a JSON, or any other format you would want to use. However, JSON is the most popular data exchange format in REST. As far as the service definitions are concerned, SOAP uses WSDL, Web Service Definition Language. REST does not have a standard definition language. While WADL is one of the standards, Web Application Definition Language, however, it's not really popularly used. In this course, we are going to use one of the popular service definitions for RESTful Web Services, Swagger. As far as the transport protocol is concerned, SOAP does not pose any restrictions at all. You can use web, that is HTTP, or you can use MQ. REST is very specific about making the best use of HTTP protocol. RESTful services are typically more easier to implement than SOAP. RESTful services are typically based on JSON, which is an easy format to parse and do things with it. And also, with RESTful services, we don't really need to mandatorily define a service definition. But with SOAP, you have to define WSDL, and there are a lot of complexities associated with parsing your XMLs as well. These are some of the differences between REST and SOAP. This marks the end of our theory sessions on web services. Until the next video, bye-bye. In 28 Minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online, and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? We are building solutions to help programmers at all levels. You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python, and JavaScript. You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular, and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.